guys, uh, welcome to the DM's Craft. DM Scotty here, good to have you with me. Today I'm going to show you a way to do fire stands. And uh, these have a ton, have tons of uses in your game. Um, you can use them for alchemical fire or when air, certain areas catch fire and that kind of thing. So they're based on my uh, fire technique that I showed in episode 77. Uh, but they're, they're more of a mobile uh, type marker. So uh, let's go to the table and I'll show you how I craft those. So this is going to be an idea I extrapolated from the uh, DM's Craft episode number 77. And you can see here I've got a piece of acetate, but you can use just a uh, sheet protector. Uh, it, what I did was I did kind of U-shaped fire uh, with the glue gun. And I did it a couple times. I did it like twice on each side. So I would uh, do the do it on one side, turn it over, do it on the other side, then do it again on the previous side, and then do it on the, uh, the uh, other side again. And so that built up kind of the uh, texture of the fire. So now I'll move to the next step. So now like my uh, video, my previous video, um, Games Craft 77, it's just a, a matter of cutting these out of the backing material. So I just took some scissors and uh, cut those shapes out. And you want to pay special attention to the tops where you put the, uh, the points of the fire. Now I'm going to use washers for the base. And I really like to use these because they give the model weight. Uh, and help it from sliding around. So what I've done is I've used, I'm using an inch washers and there's just a quarter inch hole in the center of those washers. So what I did was I painted them both sides black and then I repainted the one side with a, with a white um, flat spray paint. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure them easier so that it's easier to work on them. Okay. So what I've done is I've lined them up in, up in rows and the sheet underneath is a thin card stock so I've put a dab of hot glue in the center. So not only does that uh, fill the center, it also attaches it to that cardstock and makes it much easier to work on um, for the following steps. And you'll see what I mean in uh, some upcoming pictures. So now for the next step, I uh, have painted the uh, washers. So you can see what I did was I did the fire technique. I first painted them yellow, then I did some orange, and then I did a little bit of red. Now you can see how I painted these. I pulled the brush inwards towards the center, and that gave kind of the circular uh, fire effect. Now in this picture, I've taken one of the discs, I cut the discs out to make them easier to manipulate. So I just cut them out of the sheet, but I left them attached to the sheet. So then I use the um, glue gun, the mini glue gun, to pull glue into the center to uh, give some texture to this. So to attach the flames to the bases, I just put a big glob of hot glue on the bottom of the flame, uh, stuck it to the base, and then I ended up with some hot glue, quite a bit of hot glue on each side of the flame. So I just took the nozzle of the mini hot glue gun and pulled it up into the flame. This can be where it really helps to have the smaller glue gun so you can get into those areas. But uh, So I've attached this to the base. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it up. So I'm going to finish doing a little bit of, there's just a little bit of painting left on. I'm going to finish painting it up and then I'm going to go to a, a tile and, and show you what it looks like and talk about it. All right, so our heroic adventurers are coming down the hallway. And so they get to the edge here and they, they hear some noise and they realize that it's a group of kobolds chattering away. And 
they decide that they'll lean in the door and toss in a vial of alchemical fire, step up to the door, throw it in, boom, burst into flames. Uh, the kobolds freak out and they're scattering in all directions. So, uh, yeah, there's the uh, alchemical fire stand. I think it came out really cool. Let me get a closer look at it and talk a bit about it. Okay, you can see the light coming through it, and that really adds a cool effect uh, to that stand. Okay? Um, so, you can see on the base, I um, paint a little bit of black on the edges. Uh, that blends in with the black stand on the bottom. It also um, looks like it's burning out from the center, uh, so I like that. And uh, you can see I just used the same fire technique that I used on the other, the other fire that I did. I just uh, washed it yellow, then put a little bit of red on it, on the tips there, and uh, that gave it a, just a really nice fire effect. So, you know, you could have things where, you know, say somebody throws some, or some fire, a fireball, casts a fireball, and they set some stuff on fire. You could have that, you know, like on the wood there. Um, you could have an expanding fire. You could say, like, you know, do three corners, and, you know, as the fire expands, you know, that, that center is where the fire is. Um, the kind of cool thing about these two is, like, the center, since the fire's in the center, you could actually set a guy on that, and it, you could be like, this guy's on fire, and, like, carry that stand with them uh, while they're on fire. So, uh, this, that's kind of a cool effect, since it's um, mostly, like, halfway between the base so um, yeah that's that's a really neat idea you could put that you could put a figure on there and uh, move it around with a figure like they're on fire and that kind of thing so there we go there's some uh, super cheap uh, really cool looking fire stands that you can use for you know multiple uses um, in your game and I'll see you next time on the craft hey crafters I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the DMs craft uh, make sure to subscribe, and I have tons of other videos, as you can see. I am the originator of the 2.5D method of crafting tiles. I also do dirt cheap terrain for the table. If all this intrigues you, make sure you check out all the videos below. Also, uh, join my forum. We have lots of great crafters on there who give uh, advice. I have a link above and below. And last but not least, remember, go forth and craft!